Hey everybody, David Mejia here, founder of ATC, Answer the Call. I'm excited to talk to you guys about a few things that has helped me grow my business in, in when it comes to law of average. And I'm going to teach you guys a philosophy because I've heard from countless of leaders out there talk about if you change your philosophy, you can change your, your life, right? And law of average, I'm going to get straight into it. Um, the 10-80-10 rule, write this down, 10%. 80% and 10%. Now, the first 10% of people that you talk to when it comes to network marketing and, and any business for that matter, but major, majorly in network marketing, the first 10% of people are immediately going to say no, right? They're, they're the people you speak to about whatever opportunity you're in and they're just like, no, I'm good or I've heard of it or I don't know, I, I'm, I'm good. You know, that's fine. Cool. Understand that. Then there's 80%. This is a big number, right? So 80% of the people, it sounds good to them, but maybe they're a little fearful or maybe they're just, you know, I need to do more, more research. I need, to, I need to think about it. I need to, they just need a little bit more information to kind of make the decision, right? And that's 80% of the people. And then the other 10%, right, is going to be the people who immediately say yes or they ask very good questions. Now, how do we determine these people? What I'm going to talk to you guys about is if you understand before you start speaking to people the law of average and where to categorize these people, you're going to you're going to your business is going to grow. Why? Cuz first off, you're going to have peace of mind understanding, okay, the guy who wrote me this or the girl who wrote me this they belong in the first 10%. They immediately said no. Or they said they're interested and then they didn't show up to your meeting or they didn't jump on your conference call or they're just ignoring your calls, right? Now, the 80%, like I said earlier, are, are the people who are kind of like maybes and, and things of that nature. But one thing that people forget, because you guys have met, you guys may have heard this, but there's also a, a 80% of people where you get so confused and you kind of you stick and try to work with those people because they get on board. They'll start with you, but they, they're not on board like the 10% that you want, which is the 10% who are the go-getters, the people who are studying the business themselves, the people who are reaching out to you for mentorship, leadership, and coaching, right? And once you realize the category that these people fall in, your business is going to thrive. You have to speak to a lot of people, you guys, to get the numbers that you want to grow your business. And on top of that, you have to be patient. All these these businesses aren't to to get rich quick. You know, they're they're here to you don't make you don't create success, you don't create the type of income that you've seen people create or you've heard of people creating by just jumping in and then getting everybody on board. There's a philosophy to everything that gets done in success, in life, in anything. So the t first 10%, like I said, is they're going to say no. Put them to the side. Great. Plant a good seed with them, right? Let them follow you on, on, the, on your social media site and, and let them be. The other 80%, the 80% um, well, well, I'm sorry. Let me go into some details real quick. The first 10% of people, you already, those are the people that are kind of usually, they kind of, they kind of pull you down because you, you thought that they were going to be interested, but they're not. The 80% of the people are the ones that really hurt you inside when you're like, man, he, he came, he came to the meeting. He, he was on the conference call or she, she said she was going to get started and, and then she did get started. And then the first sign of adversity or the first sign of struggle, they quit. Or they're the people who, they're, they're so busy where, oh, I have to take care of this. You know, I, my, my door fell off my, call, off, off my house and I got to replace my door and it's going to take all day. So I'll get back to you later and, and try to connect and sorry I missed the conference call or whatever, right? Those people, you guys, you need those people in your business. Because they could transfer to the, the top 10%. But you have to be patient. Work with those people at their levels, right? 
And then the 10%, which is if it's one person in your group, get excited. If it's 10 people in your group, get excited. If it's zero people in your group, be that 10% yourself and watch what you attract. Now, here's the flip side. When you start growing a little bit of a, of a little crew in your, in your network marketing business is there's also a 10-80-10 when it comes to being in the business itself. But the thing you have to distinguish, you guys, is are you the are you the ten per, the first ten percent the guy who maybe just got started because um, it, it was it wasn't much money or are you the eighty percent where you're in but you kind of create a lot of excuses or you know um, excuses or t it's maybe it's timing right life does happen or maybe. You know, you're, you're just not in a good spot and a little bit of adversity came your way and you have to get through that. That's cool. But are you the 10% within your organization to where you're the person that's studying, reaching out, learning, growing and changing in your own business? Pick one and run with it. With that, I'm out. Hopefully that helped you guys out. Check out our link. And thank you very much for listening.